Hey Gringos, I'm Antonio Costa from Gringo Entertainment TV and guess what? We are at the new farm cinemas covering the San Andreas movie. Hi Gringos, uh, this is Antonio from Gringo Entertainment TV and uh, guess what? I have by my side Karen Kiki, she made part of the movie San Andreas. That's right. All right, yeah, that's right. Sorry for that. I got here with me a hot mama and the Miss Africa in Queensland, the family hand. They also made part of the movie San Andreas. And I have here with me Mr. Daniel Ricardo, Ricardo <laughs> and uh, his Miss, or well, I would say his partner, uh, Rebecca, right? Yes. So Rebecca didn't make part of the movie, but of course she's supporting our friend. Um, Ricardo. Ricardo, so did you actually, how have you felt working with actors like Johnson and Paul Ale Alexandra? Uh, look, it's uh, thrilling, obviously, very exciting time and uh, just really happy to be have been part of the project. Fantastic sharing um, set with Carla Gugino, um, Kylie Minogue as well with, was with us. So it was a fantastic opportunity and I think that being part of the whole team makes uh, the whole group even part of the family every single day. So we would like to know, uh, Carrie, for how long actually you work as an actress? Well, I have been working as an actress. This was my first big job, um, being part of the blockbuster movie. So almost three years now. Um, more than ten years. What in uh, you? Yes, same. Yeah, more than ten years. Yeah, mum was the one that actually signed our little family up, so it was good. Oh, so um, I'm sorry for these personal questions. How many babies do you have? How many daughters? Or, or, sorry, all, all of them work as actors. And yes, they all do extras. I got uh, three girls, beautiful girls, and one son. Actually, they're all here. And also doing a movie. So um, this movie actually, that what I, we feel. We feel that's bringing the reality to our lives. So, how was it? Um, the movie has a lot of things that perhaps I cannot say it now because the idea for you guys is to watch it. Um, it has a lot of special effects. Um, we have to rehearse every single day. There was a set of choreographies that we need to play into a course so no one get hurt. Um, it sounds lovely. Also, yeah, it's like um, for me, like when I watch a movie like this, I just feel like very scared. <laughs> tell me, tell me how, uh, when was the scariest moment in the movie for you? Well, the scariest live moment, perhaps when there is a lot of shaking, earthquakes uh, happening in the restaurant, that is the part that I'm um, part of. Um, it, it is unreal, the feeling, the whole set, the production, um, they built even a fake restaurant and everyone was there, so. Oh. For us, like, once we watch this kind of movie, bring for us the reality. So do you think people are saying that the movie was made up, the idea of the real, the real scene or real accidents that we have around of the world, especially with the Nepal? Do you think is there anything else with Nepal so far? Uh, I'll pass to my daughter. <laughs> what do you think? Well, um, Mother Nature has a funny way of showing its true colours, so we obviously don't get to see sometimes the real thing. So I believe when they when they um, sh when they show it in the movies, it gives us an idea of what a lot of people go through as well, and um, it gives us an idea of what Mother Nature is really like. So for me, it was an eye opener because I didn't know that stuff that that could happen. Well, it does, but not sometimes to that extreme. So yeah, it was uh, eye opener for me. I am. Uh, well, I mean, it's it's a. It's an issue that you know will affect all of us eventually, and um, it's very serious. So obviously, it's something that that is you know concerns us all. I don't know. Um, there are a few things that, as a human being, you don't know how to react. Perhaps it would be so scary um, calling parents or family members to be you know <laughs> uh, all together. Uh, it is unreal, and I cannot imagine being this uh, one of the things that 
perhaps can happen in a couple of years. Um, get ready, everyone, and have a proper, you know, like salvation um, exercise. We got a question actually. Have you felt the reality in this movie once you saw him in the movie, or? Um, you see movies like that with um, natural disasters. What do you think about it? Do you think that it's going really to happen with us one day? I think it's um, increasing in likelihood given climate change, obviously, and um, it's something that is in the back of a lot of people's minds. So, about the movie, have you used any special you girls special technique to actually play the character that you girls played in the movie? Because this is so real for us. Um, what can you girls tell me? What you, can you tell me? are just good listeners. We listen to the directors when they tell us to play certain roles. So I guess for us, um, if they don't like it, they always say cut. So it gives us, every movie that we do, it gives us more inspiration to sort of um, work on it, I guess, and be a part of it, which is great. It sounds like a good idea. So for you, mom, I would call you mom like this because it's incredible. A lucky director have a mom and daughter working together. So um, in the movie, was it a great experience working with um, experienced actors or brilliant actors like Johnson or Paul or Alexandra? Was, how was the experience? How did you feel it? Ah, actually, it's very lucky for us to meet them just face to face. And just looking at them, it's not easy, it's very hard. We look at them and we learn a lot because they're working exactly like us. They're okay. Hard. So, did you feel very comfortable working with them? Yes, yeah, so the first time when you face them, you like, ooh, is that him? <laughs> then you want to hug and you want to kiss them. Uh. But then, oh, that's true. That's true. That's so, so, um, yes. Rock. Yeah, first of rock. Like, okay, he's quite hot and big guy, right? Yes, yeah, nice. So, um, um, it's so funny for me. He, you're not tall like he is. So how have you, have you, actually, how, how have you felt being close to him once you're not tall like he is and big? I'm so sorry for this question because it's... <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, what I lack in stature, I make up in personality. So uh, that's really has been my forte. And, um, and also, I've got a really loud voice when I sing too, so that helps. Um, no. <laughs> to that, absolutely. Yeah, so even your partner, it's, it's shorter than you, right? So it makes great. And I have here with me the two beautiful ladies that made, actually, Carrie Kiki, that made part of the movie, San Andreas, and her dress, or I would say the dress designer, um, sorry, your name is? Susie Kay. So Susie Kay. Susie came to actually give us her beautiful smile and also to, to support Carrie. So Susie, um, I can see you, both of you girls are incredibly gorgeous. Can you please just turn around so the Latinos can see how beautiful the Australians and uh, actually um, you're from you're not from Australia originally, are you? No, I'm from Colombia. From Colombia. So you got an Aussie girl beautiful that actually designed the Colombian girl uh, actress that were made part of the movie. So can you tell me is it the only dress that um, Susan made for you or designed for you? Today was a special gift, so excellent designing, um, beautiful and clear cuts. So this is my first beautiful, well-deserved, amazing dress. Great. So what can you tell me about designing um, in the future? Maybe you're going to be some, doing some work for movies or actors. Um, what have you learned once you see a movie, especially a movie like San Andreas? So what kind of design can you think in your mind to working on? Um, more so more fashion films I would really like to dress for. Um, you know, they're based on a lot of luxurious designers and I want to be one of them one day, so we'll see. Hi Gringos, I hope you guys enjoy it because this is the end of the show. So please don't forget to subscribe to our website www.gringomedia.com.au Also it has been such a big pleasure for us to be here to interview all these people. Thanks so much and see you then.